Why quitting smoking will not prevent COPD. We all know of the dangers of smoking, but most people do not realize there is actually two things going on when we smoke. First, we are inhaling smoke into our lungs, which is unhealthy regardless of what we are smoking. The second thing that is happening is we are inhaling fungal spores from the fungi that grow naturally on tobacco. This picture shows blue mold growing on tobacco in the fields. Here is a picture of blue mold on tobacco leaves that are being cured. These are the leaves used for consumption. If they are not discarding tobacco leaves that have blue mold visibly growing on them, then it stands to reason they are not discarding leaves with the less visible fungi growing on them. If blue mold is growing on the tobacco, then certainly fungi could also grow on these tobacco leaves since mold and fungi require the same conditions for growth and survival. Now let's say you quit smoking and you've not been diagnosed with COPD, so you think you have escaped suffering from this disease. What happens is your lungs begin healing from the smoke inhalation. It generally takes around two years for your body to replace the cells in your lungs. The problem is the fungi is still proliferating and thriving in your lungs. I believe this fungi is an opportunistic fungi. Opportunistic fungi, unlike pathogenic fungi, emulate human cells and adapt very rapidly to attempts at eradicating them. This is why antifungal medications will not kill opportunistic fungi. The fungi adapt to the medications, making them ineffective. As a result, COPD goes undetected for many years, sometimes decades. I worked with a gentleman many years ago who had quit smoking and was diagnosed with COPD 28 years later. Leonard Nimoy quit smoking in 1988 and died in 2018 from COPD after not smoking for 29 years. Why? The opportunistic fungi was growing and proliferating slowly in his lungs the whole time. So can we kill this opportunistic fungi and reverse our COPD? If my hypothesis is correct, then the answer is yes. The internet is full of information on how you can eradicate fungi naturally. I researched the process of eradicating an opportunistic fungi, also called mycobacteria by some researchers. My mother had been diagnosed with COPD and had deteriorated down to end-stage emphysema or stage 4 COPD. I applied what I learned in my four and a half years and more than 6,500 hours of research to my mother's recovery regimen. After switching her to a restrictive diet and adding a number of supplements to her daily regimen, my mother began recovering. Seventeen months later, my mother had recovered completely from her COPD. The fungi had been eradicated. For additional information, visit my website, www.emphysema-treatments.com. You may also have an interest in my mother's journey from end-stage emphysema to a complete recovery. How I Reversed My Mom's Emphysema is the book that I wrote that details her struggles and eventual recovery. That's available on the website and on Amazon. Please like this video if you found it helpful. Thank you. Please make sure and subscribe to this channel so you do not miss the next video release.
Make sure and visit our website at www.emphysema-treatments.com.